Hello, sixth graders. Uh, we've got a lesson today on factors and multiples. This lesson is also your first uh, introduction lesson to using your book. So I'm going to tell you at the end of this video how to turn in and complete a book assignment um, with social distancing. I also want to mention that if you'd like to track along with this video, I recommend having one piece of scratch paper and a pencil. Um, I am going to give you guys an opportunity throughout this video to try a couple problems on your own. So we're looking at factors and multiples. There's two terms, factors and multiples, that we're looking at today. First one is factor. And a factor is any number that goes into a number evenly. So a number that will fit into another number evenly. So factors of 10 include 1, 2, 5, and 10. All four of those numbers go evenly into 10. What you're asked to find in your assignment today is a greatest common factor, often abbreviated as GCF. And the greatest common factor is the largest number that goes into two or more numbers evenly. So let me explain that a different way. Again, GCF is greatest common factor. We're going to look at a chart here, um, number of servings and cakes. And you're asked to find the greatest common factor of these three numbers, 10, 15, and 20. So you want the largest number that will fit into all three of those numbers. As you probably know, factors of 10 include 1, 2, 5, and 10. Factors of 15, 1, 3, 5, and 15. Factors of 20, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. In this case, these three numbers have two common factors, both 1 and 5, but the greatest one, the largest common factor, is 5. So if you were asked to find the GC GCF of these three numbers, the answer is 5. It is the largest number that goes into all three. So this is your moment to try. I'm going to pause talking for about 20 seconds and see if you can figure out what is the GCF of 12 and 16. Great. And before I continue, I, I want to remind you, um, you are watching a video. If you ever want more time to solve a, a problem where it says you try, um, you can always pause your video. Factors of 12 include 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And factors of 16 include 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. What this tells us is the greatest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. The largest number that they will both that goes into both those two numbers, 12 and 16, is 4. Okay. Greatest common factor for these two problems, I'm going to pause for 20 seconds. If you think you'll need longer, go ahead and pause your screen, and then pause when you're ready. Coming back. Problem number one, six. Six is the biggest number that goes into both 18 and 30. And for problem number two, a little bit tougher, 16. If you put eight, you're close. Eight does go into 32 and 48. 16 is a little less obvious, but 16 is the largest common factor because it goes into 32 twice and 48 three times. So that's factors. Specifically, GCF, greatest common factors. Next, we're going to look at multiples. And multiples are the numbers that go, that a number goes into evenly. So when you were little, most of us learned multiples of 5 first. We learned to count by 5s. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, etc. Please note... 
that 5 is a multiple of 5. So the number often inclu always includes itself. Multiples of 20 include 20, 40, 60, 80, etc. So we're looking for least common multiple. The least common multiple is the smallest number that two or more numbers will go into evenly. So what that means is you have two numbers, 6 and 8. If you count by 6's and you count by 8, what two number or what number would those two numbers meet up at? If you count by 6's and you count by 8, where will they meet up? Well, multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, and 24, and multiples of 8 include 8, 16, and there you go, 24. So least common multiple, or the LCM, of 6 and 8 is 24. So you try. What's the least common multiple, LCM, of 3 and 4? If you count by 3's and you count by 4, where will they meet up? All right. If you said 12, you got it. Again, you count by 3s, 3, 6, 9, 12. And you count by 4s, 4, 8, 12. The LCM, least common multiple of 3 and 4, 12. You try two problems on your own. Find the LCM of these two problems. 5 and 10 and 5 and 7. Again, I'm going to pause for about 15 more seconds. Great. For number one, if you count by fives and you count by tens, where will they meet up? Ten. Uh, if you said 20, don't forget that 10 is also a multiple of itself. So five and 10 will meet up at 10. And five and seven, hopefully you put down 35. Great, so now I'm going to talk about your assignment. First assignment is not a long assignment, it's 10 questions, and it's on page 11 of your book. You can use your physical textbook or you can use your digital textbook. Page looks like that. And in your classroom there is an attached Google form answer key. You want to make sure to turn that in when you're complete with your assignment. So your answer key looks like this. It's attached to the assignment in the Google Classroom. And you're going to want to make sure that you take your answers and that you put it on the answer key and then turn in the answer key. I'm going to show you that process in just a sec, but first, two hints on questions 9 and 10. So this is questions 9 and 10 from your assignment. And I just want to tell you that on both these questions, you're looking for the GCF on both questions 9 and 10. You're looking for the GCF. That's your hint. So one more time. Here's your assignment, page 11. If you're looking for the greatest common factor, again, that's a number that's going to go into both 8 and 14 in an even amount of times. I'll give the answer to number one, it's two. Now obviously you can't show your work on an answer key, but you can at least show me that you're getting the concept, so you go back to your answer key, and for number one you type in two. When you're done, you're going to turn this in. I think that's it for now. Um, I want to remind you as always, if you have any specific questions on assignments, you can email me. Uh, what I'd like you to do is email me both the page number and the problem number that you're working on, and I am really good about getting back to you. I will help you through any problems. Don't get stuck. Don't get frustrated. Reach out and ask for help. All right, sixth graders, good luck on your first book assignment, and don't forget that it's due on Tuesday.